All I can hear is the no. sound of us jamming no. buttons. No, no, go away, Diglett. You'll not take this away from me. <laughs> Stupid oh, I think this is going to be it now. One, I've got one. Let's see if I can win this with one HP. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think you might. <laughs> one against four. No! <laughs> no. I won a Pokemon thing <laughs> for the first time. Oh, oh, damn it. Show your support. Like, share and subscribe. about to say we're doing a live podcast it's not exactly broadcast <laughs> live, but, uh, but you can see us you can time. see us and we can so. see each other which is handy yeah is there an audio word for podcast or is it still podcast i don't know i don't know pass well we'll make one up at some <laughs> point <laughs> audio cast yeah well here we are yeah um well yeah how are you <laughs> i'm not too bad um started uh actually released today on day of recording this a new series of uh, hidden gems kind of old games that may have passed me by or new ones that haven't had kind of a big fanfare okay just to kind of highlight those that that, that should all be on the channel as of last week when this is released so yeah that's uh -huh. that and yeah just Plodding on as normal. Yeah, really? I saw that uploaded. I've, I've clicked to add to watch later. Because <laughs> obviously I've been here, so I haven't had <laughs> you know, half hour or however long it is to look at it. Indeed. So, but yes. yeah, no, it, that's, that's on my watch later for next the next time I get onto YouTube, which is probably tonight, to be honest. Fair play. It's weird the watch later list on YouTube, because whatever you click on, the latest one you clicked is always the first on the list. Oh, that's which, annoying. Which I don't particularly, I'm not particularly fond of. So you've then got to scroll back through yeah, cause, where you started clicking and watch yeah, later. Because say I've got 12 on there and I only get time to watch five. Uh, but by the time I next have time, it will, another five would have been uploaded it's and I can only watch them. it, you know, so. Yeah. About a week ago I got through my list and there was stuff on there from before Let's Go was released and that was in <laughs> November. So Blimey. wow. Finally got there. <laughs> I watched one of your Christmas specials but I watched it again because I'd already watched it when it came out because I thought I am going to have no time <laughs> to get onto this. Let's watch it now. One of the Die Hards. Yeah. I think it was Die Hard 2. I watched twice. That was a lot Just because it was on the list. That was much more fun to play, that one. Yeah. But Very one, time one crisis. Really <laughs> strange, to be honest. The, in the car park for it to start. Oh, again. yeah. The first game. <laughs> yeah. That looked weird. It was weird. And it was ridiculously easy that first level <laughs> and then went ridiculously difficult hence why I only ever made to the second level yeah because once you've killed everyone then the bomb timer starts yeah, and if you you're nowhere near the lift you're knackered yeah basically because that's how buildings and structures work they blow up one level yeah. all the ones above <laughs> yeah. it oh, perfect <laughs> yeah perfectly okay yeah, yeah. that's pretty yeah. That's, yeah that's a good I've um yeah, well, with, with my channel, obviously, I haven't really had any sort of um, new uploads. I've tried to do archive footage on social media, just go back on some of the old higher-viewed videos and keep my name going. Yeah, <laughs> so, what is, you know. what's the current situation then? Because, obviously, we know there was some technical issues, first with the capture card and then with yeah. the laptop. And then... <laughs> yeah, well, the capture card was glitching a, a fair bit. And I, I'm going to say it was because of the laptop, because the laptop actually broke, sort of broke down and restarted itself, and we had to reboot the whole system, so I lost Handy. stuff that was on the laptop. But I'd only had it a month, so it was I didn't have much data on there, like to, much much stuff to lose. Did you have video recording stuff on there? Yeah. So um, you've lost that. Yeah. Oh, I've right. got um, actual stuff on my camera still. Oh, okay. So just you can not... just put it back on the laptop. Yeah, I'd actually, I was actually exporting a video when it crashed the first time. I'd finished my facts video, mm. which is interesting facts, which will <laughs> one day. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's a series called Get Fact <laughs> because I've, that, that's and it's just going to be ten interesting facts. It won't be me on the camera. You'll just be watching footage, and my voiceover will be there, and it's just a good five minute. Let's talk about ten facts that you could quite find quite interesting. Cool. Like one, for example, I haven't used, but one, for example, Mr. Mime can be female. 
Mr. Mrs. Mine. Yep, Mrs. Mr. Mine. No, Mrs. Mr. Mine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, so it's that crashed, and we, my dad helped me reboot it because he's familiar with computers, and we did it perfectly well, and it was working for about 24 hours. Mm. Then I got another notification in the bottom corner saying restart to fix drive. So I thought, oh god, <laughs> you know, with the, the red circle and the X in it. I was that like, okay. Doesn't sound good. So I just clicked on restart thinking it's never going to work, and um, it didn't. <laughs> it, never, it, it did something and then while it was doing that something just turned the entire system off and I pressed on and then it was just a spinning wheel and ouch yeah I've turned it on since and it's taken me to the reboot process again so hmm. I'm that is now in well I'll say that's now I'm hopefully getting that in the hands of Dell's support system because I've got a warranty on it and uh, I've, they're only open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, the customer service. Oh, it's a good yeah. job you work Monday to Friday, 9 yes. to 5, isn't it? <laughs> and, my job, and in my job, I have to carry a laptop round with me most days, at the very least, Tuesday, Wednesday and a Thursday. Uh, so I, I'm not taking two laptops Double to work laptop. with me. <laughs> yeah. So it's either a Monday or a Friday I can call them. And it, uh, But it's very busy at work at the moment, and it's... I haven't got time for it. No, and I'm presuming they don't appreciate you phoning about your own personal laptop. No. Well, I rung up once. Well, I, I contacted the company I got it from first, and they said you need to contact Dell. So I contacted Dell. They said you need this number off the laptop. So I contacted Dell again with the number off the laptop, and then after five minutes, they were like, you need it in your in your person <laughs> when calling us. Excellent. So I was like, great, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have to contact them for a fourth time. And when I, yeah, I've got to actually try and book a day off so I can go through this. But I'm tempted to ring them one lunchtime. Actually, I'm not going to say one, what I'm tempted to do. <laughs> you never know who's watching. Tempted to insert a laptop into Dell's office. Yes. And... <laughs> yes. But, uh, no, this is just... I've avoided Apple products for a while. Not because I don't like Apple, just because I thought I've been comfortable with Windows. I know what I'm doing. But uh, this whole scenario has... Not just mate tempted me, but I am definitely next time I get anything going to going to Apple. Apart from an iPhone. Yeah, I don't want iPhones. No, I don't want iPhones. In terms of media production, I think Apple is the way forward. I think my Windows laptop, if it gets working, will be a gaming laptop. You know, Mm. for Football Manager, Warcraft stuff. Even I've got, and even some old game. I've got Worms Reloaded. (laughs) Believe it or not, hell of a good game. Wow. (laughs) Um. I'll use it for stuff like that, but I think eventually I'll get a, a nice Apple laptop for Fair news. video making, and I can actually do some good stuff and get better editing technology, and it'll be good. And I'll be back eventually. I said February, but because I didn't know their customer support was Monday, Friday, nine to five. Well, uh, we're only just February on day of recording, so yeah. Well, if they've got an online service, an online chat. I've got to look into all the possibilities. If yeah. it's if it is just this one phone number, Monday, Friday, nine to five, it might take longer than planned. But if there's other ways, I'll look into those other ways. We'll get there. Keeping it cross. We'll get there. There's always the choice of going to an independent computer repair company, and probably invalidate the warranty. But but at least it works. If if it will get it fixed. Yeah. It, uh, but if it needs a replacement part, I'll have to pay for that myself. It won't come under the warranty, but it may. If the replacement part is 70 odd quid, it may well be worth just paying this computer repair place 70 quid and having a laptop there rather than. I'm going to use the word fannying around. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the moment, but it's just we'll a paperweight. Yes, it is. It literally is. But we'll get there. And eventually, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> eventually, I'll be back full time. Full time properly. Uh, oh, well. What a trial. <laughs> But at least we can, we're here and we can do this podcast. Yes. Pod and five incidentally, and we've done other recordings today, the two of us. Yeah. Um, some of it might already be out. Not entirely sure how we're going to release it. Some of it might not have been even edited yet. I'm not entirely sure. That's we'll work point. that out at some point and it will either all come straight after this podcast or some of it might be out already for people to be watching so we'll decide that i've never i've never used this term before but we'll decide that off air <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, <see. laughs> yeah we'll figure that one out indeed but for now we'll carry on with this we've got our podcast it's here podcast time yeah. yes i believe you've got something visual that we can do yes, for a change. Yes, as we're actually in the same building yes. at the same time, I can actually show you something. 
Um, yeah, I'm basically going to force you to watch a match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's more just to gain some kind of reaction from yourself. It's something I haven't watched for a very long time. Um, and it's sort of the first thing that came to my mind in terms of a purist actual wrestling um, match in its purest sense. Um, the two people involved, Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar, both have history with actual amateur wrestling. Kurt Angle managed to win an Olympic gold medal in freestyle wrestling in 96 oh, wow. with a broken neck. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Um, Almost like that goalkeeper in the FA Cup final. Kind of. There, well, that sort of <laughs> it basically, um, towards the end, in order to avoid losing a point with his shoulders touching the mat, as it was in the amateur wrestling, he arched his back, I think, and ended up landing head first so as not to lose a point. But in doing that, he broke his neck. Oh, wow. Okay. And then he <laughs> carried on and won anyway. <laughs> so, not bad. Yeah, that's, that's him. And uh, Brock Lesnar, I don't know if you've heard... His name via mm. MMA and UFC and all Possibly, that malarkey. Uh, I, it, it does ring a bell, not you as much might, as Kurt Angle. You might recognise him, but, um, yeah. but this was him kind of at his beginning of his career. He'd been around for about a year, and this was the main event of WrestleMania 19. Um, considered one of the best events they've ever done. And one thing I will say is... One person in this match is wrestling with a severely injured neck anyway, okay. just in reality, and somebody else, something happens to them that causes major, major concussion. Oh, really? <laughs> and they both still Un finish. Unplanned. Very much unplanned, okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do something that was planned, but it doesn't quite work how it was <laughs> meant to work. And, yes, massive concussion, <laughs> but they both then still managed to finish. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, I did wonder why you'd picked this specific year at this specific point in the three hours odd. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was, as I said, it was a, it was a very kind of pure wrestling contest. Um, the commentators tell quite a good story with it, and they do it justice, I think, the, okay. the two of them in the ring. And it's only about 20 minutes long-ish, so I was trying to find... A match that's not like three minutes or yeah. like some of them literally last seconds and yeah, okay. don't do anything <laughs> and some of them go on forever so it was quite a nice balance I thought okay yeah lovely yeah. Um, cool we're recording we made that error earlier so <laughs> I just wanted to double check right I will press play so that I can sync this in three two one play can you hear that? Okay. Yeah, apparently this guy sucks. He does suck. <laughs> yeah, he really sucks. Indeed. I'm waiting for the uh, the commentary to actually mention something. <laughs> so I can't actually hear them yet. I want to kind of get that for the uh, the audio, yeah. whether I need to turn it up or not. He still sucks. <laughs> is he not very popular, this guy? No, he very much is not popular. Oh, that is quite quiet. I might have to turn that up. We'll, we'll wait until after the announcement. <laughs> so, yes, he going in is your uh, champion, and as you can guess from the You Suck stuff, he is playing the heel character. He sucks, but people want to touch him. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, that is quite quiet, isn't it? Do you want me to turn that up for you? Yeah, just a tad bit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch him. Oh, no, he still sucks. Is that... Like a tagline people give him. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is that uh, like a tagline people give him? It is, yeah. It can't, You could probably couldn't hear it very well with the song, but when the song went dun dun, people shouted out you suck in oh, that right. bit. So it, is so a it proper, worked quite okay. well, yeah. Incidentally, he's around now as a kind of much older man, a legend, and it's done as a sign of endearment. Oh, okay. Now, right, because right. it was his tagline for so long. Now, the story with Brock going in was he was attacked. Kurt Angle had kind of a entourage of people that worked with him, and they were basically attacking Lesnar on a weekly basis um, and attacking his midsection area. Hence right, why okay. he's taped it, just to kind of show that it's injured. 
Okay. You know, in that kind of storytelling way, <laughs> he's going in at a disadvantage. Right, okay. One thing that um, probably has already been mentioned by the commentary, and they will mention it a bit later, is normally in a title match, if Kurt Angle gets himself disqualified or counted out, although he'll lose the match, he will still keep the belt. Okay. That rule isn't in play in this match. Oh, because right. of his cheating beforehand, Yeah. they basically made it so that if he does that, he'll lose. Was that cheating in terms of... Um, um, in terms of atta- uh, what beforehand you mean? Yeah. Yeah, just attacking him in matches, getting other people to attack him with weapons. Okay. Things like that. Oh, here we go. I thought I genuinely thought that was them talking then. <laughs> they probably were. I saw one mouth move and heard a voice. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> They're quite large men, aren't they? They are very large yeah, Just yes. in general. Especially in this company. It's kind of a, a, a thing <laughs> for this company <laughs> to have very, very large men in it. <laughs> their necks are always as wide as their head. Yes. It's very big necks. <laughs> and that will come into play <laughs> as an advantage later okay <laughs> spoilers yeah it's kind of one of those things of if he had a smaller neck he probably wouldn't be in a good state <laughs> well i know there's concussion so uh <laughs> indeed yes so that's brock lesnar on the left isn't it? yeah Kurt in Angle the black right? indeed yeah, yeah. well okay, yeah now they've switched now they've moved yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Lesnar got this match by winning the Royal Rumble earlier that year. Okay. Thirty man over the top um, battle royal match. So he won that um, in Ooh. January of that year, two thousand three. Of course, this is after the yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was end of March, I think. Not entirely sure of the exact date. Do they still have that in the Olympics? What's that? What he won? I can't remember the. Um, uh, what was it he won in the Olympics? You just said it. Oh, it's off completely. Oh, who Kurt Angle freestyle yeah, wrestling? That was um, it. Do they still have that? I'm not sure to be honest. I don't remember seeing it. I've seen I don't. Judo. I don't know if they do <laughs> but anymore. But that was in '96 in Atlanta. Yeah. So it was in America. So oh, whether it was right. because it was in America that they added it in, I'm not entirely sure. That makes sense. But yeah, it's quite a big. A big thing, and obviously these two came from an amateur background. Yeah. Um, I thought I just heard someone say "ankle pops out," and I was like, oh, "That sounds painful." What's that? Doesn't look like it from here. Uh, angle, I think. <laughs> that was I it. hope. Angle pops out. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Team Angle. Yeah, that's his kind of entourage of people <laughs> that he has on his side. Oh, a slap of skin. <laughs> Run into a brick wall. <laughs> I used to play a wrestling game on PlayStation. I can't remember what one it was. It was at a friend's or... No, oh, too. It was at a youth club I used to go to when I was like 10. Oh, okay. They had Pro Evolution and wrestling and that was basically it. <laughs> Because that's all people played. Yeah, that's all you needed. <laughs> Lots of people go to this, don't they? It's a very big spectacle. Yeah, well, this was the kind of biggest spectacle of that year. Obviously, yeah. being WrestleMania, it's uh, kind of the biggest show they do each year, so... Yeah, hasn't it, really changed, has it? No, no, started in 84 and it's still going. Yeah. So we've got the 35th one. Uh, 7th of April, I think it is this year. Okay. There we go, midsection. <laughs> it's at it again. <laughs> I've sometimes watched the cage fighting type stuff and it's just not for me. Oh. Oh, what, the actual legitimate yeah. fighting? Well, they yeah. actually punch each other in the... I, I, I don't get that. 
No. <laughs> well, Lesnar's not bad at that either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Given the size of him. <laughs> I can imagine. I think about the only thing he's tried to do that's not been... He's not really been up to much is uh, American football. Because <laughs> he actually left this to go and be an American football player. And yeah. it wasn't overly successful. <laughs> Well, I just saw somebody literally run past with a sign that said, Am I on TV? <laughs> oh, we'll miss that. <laughs> <laughs> or I might have just said, Am I on TV? But, um, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm sort of watching every little bit. Mm. Waiting for a concussion to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know it when you see it. <laughs> Put it that way. Anyone that knows this match knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> knows when it happens, who it happens to, and how it happens. <laughs> I'm hoping he gets hit in the face of a chair or something. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. The big bald head. That kind of thing can be planned for more. This sort of wasn't. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know what happens, but something happened to me in a drama class once, which is great. We were, <laughs> we were acting, um, jumping out of a burning building. It was meant to be a dramatical bit. We were just doing it in a class, <laughs> in front of the, the other class, and you had to act in a ring. So the person that was... I was already out as the innocent son who'd just been taken out. And the fireman went back in to get the other person in the house, the mum or someone or dad, I don't know. And the person who was jumping out of the window jumped out of the window, but their heel caught the other person in the head. Oh, so that person went down her. Nasty. And the person who jumped out the window was meant to be on the floor after anyway. So he stayed on the floor, and I was just standing there. Was everyone, <laughs> everyone thought it was part of the, uh, <laughs> the act, and I was oh. just like, how do you get out of that? That <laughs> sounds brutal. And I was just, so that's when I just went, thank God for that, we're safe. And then just ended the scene. <laughs> and sounds there we go, that's it, that's brutal. it, miss, that's it, we're done. <laughs> That looks painful. A bit of ankle breakage. <laughs> I suppose it would be if it was real. <laughs> I suppose they must have safe words or movements. Well, that is effectively what the referee is in there for. Oh, in case they say, like, you know, uh, if they, like, a safe word is cheddar or something. It's like, ah, oh, cheddar. Well, it's kind of <laughs> what you will see is if, especially now yeah. with things like head injuries and stuff. When there's big impacts on stuff, the ref will immediately go over to them and check on them. And what they tend to do is give a little squeeze of the hand right, okay. as a as a code. Um, right, okay. And if you ever see the ref hold up like an X symbol like that, yeah. that means, yeah, this person's legitimately hurt. <laughs> <laughs> How do they get out of that one? Do they just stop? Sometimes they just literally have to stop the match. If it's, it's just that bad, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, and then or they carry on yeah, and they, they they carry them out. Often people will try and at least kind of finish the match. There's been a time where a couple of years ago somebody actually broke their ankle in the ring on an impact, oh, right. and the other opponent knew that something was wrong, so they got up in the referee's face and started shouting at them, and um, he actually ended up getting himself disqualified. Oh right. In order to end the match there. And oh, then. okay. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I think. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's a smiling. <laughs> Barely standing up is what he's doing. Just watching him. This isn't the thing that goes wrong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching for the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> just... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna guess now. He jumps and the other bloke rolls. Oh wow. Not quite. <laughs> oh wow. Okay.
He was meant to not land there, basically. No, he's landed on his head there, hasn't he? Yeah, they'll show it from a better angle oh, brilliant. in a second. Is this when the... Is he called a ref, did you say? Yeah. The, is this when the referee's literally... Was that the bit? That was definitely the bit, <laughs> So yeah. this guy has now concussed Brock Lesnar. Yes. So he doesn't really know what's happening. Not properly, no. <laughs> I mean, I've never <laughs> suffered a concussion, so I'm he's, not entirely sure what it feels like. He's doing well. So, okay. <laughs> the intention was to hit that move, yeah. which is called a shooting star press, which he used to do quite a lot when he was working um, in what they call the developmental brand, where they were kind of not on TV all the time. He yeah. used to hit that quite often. But obviously oh, he didn't land literally oh. on his head. Oh, yeah. God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> literally right on his head. Still managed to win though. So good job his neck's that thick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he if it is he is he done there? Yeah. I he mean, doesn't look with it, does he? You can he? kind of see in his eyes, yeah, he's not He's trying to he's trying to pre professional though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, that is a a pretty vacant look in someone's yeah. eyes. He doesn't know what's happening, does he? No, not at all. Everyone's everyone watching this going, he's so good at, at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people kind of knew that obviously that move didn't quite work. He doesn't know where he is, does he? No. <laughs> no, he really doesn't. Go on, be sick. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been concussed, I don't think. <laughs> don't think. I've landed on my head before, but I haven't been concussed. But not from six, seven, no. four, yeah, doing I, a flip. No, I jumped, I jumped <laughs> for a header with someone else, and they didn't jump, so I ended up just doing that and Ooh, landed on my head. no. Well, what, kind of over their shoulder? Yeah. I don't quite know what happened. <laughs> I don't know where the ball went, but, but the, the but whistle know, blew, and apparently I gave away the foul. So, <laughs> okay, interesting thing. But I got subbed off by uh, by the then manager, so I was like, oh, "Yeah, fair enough. I'll just I'll go down. I'll have a sit down." Good, good call. <laughs> just like, uh, who am I? Does anyone here know that he's not with it? I'm I assuming, would think I'm the two men knows. in the ring know. I'm yeah, assuming he knows he's not with it. Because there is a little bit of a conversation here. <laughs> is there a little bit of a... I don't know. Something, blah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it certainly looks that way. And considering <laughs> Kurt Angle straight after this match has to have uh, two or three months off because of his neck himself. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, Yes. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> well that was interesting. So there we go. <laughs> that is how to land on your head <laughs> and nearly kill yourself. That wow, okay. I would I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't try that at No, no, I certainly wouldn't advise it. <laughs> There's a similar Pokemon move, it's called Flying Press. It's the only Pokemon move that's got two types. It's a flying and fighting type move. It's really weird right. to figure out. Fair play. But yes, yeah, that, okay, interesting. <laughs> well, for, uh, should we move, uh, uh, did you have any follow up to that? Or are you, are you no, to... no, it was just, yeah, it was just quite good. I think we, we sort of chatted it through as, as, yeah. as was going. Yeah. Well, the bit I was going to bring to the, to the table today sort of involved you anyway. So, okay. um, what I've done, I've, I've brought Let's Go Pikachu along with me, and right. I was just going to let you do the first 15 or so minutes. Okay. Just, Right. Literally start a new game and just have you go into it. Okay, cool. That is it. Okay. <laughs> but I thought we'd take advantage while we were both in the same room with the correct equipment. Fair play. So, cleverly, we're going to pretend like we're not going to cut now, but <laughs> in a few seconds' time, we'll have the switch on and loaded. Yes. So, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> right, well, yeah, see, no time at all. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Press the controller you want to use. This one, okay. I guess. And to help syncing, um, that will load in, and then, yeah, click that now.
Hang on. What? Oh. What? This? Yeah, oh, right. press it again. Three, two, one, click. Are you ready to re go? Should confirm? we do it? Yep, yeah. and confirm. Hopefully, Perfect. we'll be right to think that. <laughs> Hope so. Hope so. Yeah, so you're just going to go through the first 15 minutes of Let's Go. Okay. Because I know you're going to plan on getting it one day. Hopefully, yeah. And it's, I just, yeah, just so you know, like what you're getting into. It's, it's really interesting, to be honest. <laughs> Hello, weird yellow mouse thing. In games like this, I love the music as well. Japanese games are always awesome for music. Yeah, they are. And do you remember like the start-up of Red and Blue and all of that? Mm. With Professor Oak and everything? Well, you're going to go through all that now, obviously. Oh, okay. Uh, English, please. Begin the game. Yeah. Ah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a weird start. Hello. There he is. Hello, now. Glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Talks a lot, doesn't he? But... Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. Not Professor Oak. No, just, just Oak. Oak. <laughs> Pokemon Professor. Here is a ball. That is a Cubone. It is. Do you remember the story of Cubone in the anime? Uh, anime in the games, red and blue, with the ghost and the tower and Sort stuff. of, yeah, with the Marowak at the top of it. Yeah, they yeah. make a lot more out of it in this, and it's brilliant. Oh, that's it's cool. It's really good. I won't go into it, obviously. Spoilers, but it's brilliant. Why don't you tell me about yourself? <laughs> what do you look like? Yeah, different skin tones and gender in these ones. I look like that guy. Why not? Yep, that'll do. How about a name? Hmm? <laughs> this is a bit where touchscreen comes in handy. Oh, yes. I'm <laughs> sure <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. Call yourself anything for now. If you double tap that, I think it will stay on. Yeah. Perfect. That's obviously my name. Yeah. Basically what we'll do, we'll take you through this. You'll get your first Pokemon and then you can catch your first Pokemon as well. <laughs> with the motion controlling everything. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> that isn't Gary, basically. you got a new, different rival. Uh, that's Gary. <laughs> All will become clear. What is his name now? I don't know, <laughs> same as it was before. What is your rival's name? Isn't this meant to be Oak's nephew? Me yeah. Gary is Oak's nephew. Gary Stroke Blue, as he's called in the games, is Oak's nephew. But this isn't him. Yeah. Because this is Bob. That is Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> it was Bob, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Bob. Yeah, of course it was Bob. Hi, Bob. Of course, what else was it, would it have been? Say hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Finding oh, it really God, difficult goodness. to control things with the right... I'm left-handed, basically. <laughs> you can use your left hand. No, because it feels weird, then. <laughs> Like, why can't they let you use the left Joy-Con? Oh, you can do if you wanted. Oh, uh, now <laughs> you can use it. But you only need one Joy-Con for this game. That's now sort of joy. Of it. You can you can still use the that's left. That's the Joy-Con. Right, so. Yay! <laughs> there it is. He's here. Is that why the other Joy-Con is on the side? Yeah. Because it's not being so used. So you've noticed it already. Yeah. That's cool. And this look. <laughs> I love that start. I'm trying to be meta. I love that start because it's basically like that sort of involves you in the game because that's essentially like what they're trying there. You see that on the left on the calendar, the old sprites from the games. Oh yeah. On that left hand side, and then you got that, yeah. Yeah, what that says to me is right. This is you that's just got into the game and you don't know what's happening. You're like, oh, I'm in the game. That is pretty and then cool. There's one switch controller missing because obviously you're playing. You're it. I love it. it. There's just small details. Hi Bob. Got a weird look on your face. How rude. That's just my face. <laughs> that is really rude. What? Email C. Check your computer if you didn't. I hate <coughs> when people do that. Oh, I'll send you an email. Why are you telling me then? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what was in the email? Because you're here now. There's an email from Bob. Here's what you need to know as a trainer. A to talk to people, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the start's going to have a little bit of this sort of stuff in it, but it's throughout the game. You really do just get on with it, basically. I like a bit of getting on with yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty good. My house. And there's your mother of mixed race. I was going to say she's got a much darker skin tone than I have. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably, I had a very, very pale father then. <laughs> <laughs> Must have done. 
there's lots of uh, theories about who your mother and father are just from Ooh, their skin tone. Who's that guy? It's that guy. Yeah, he, is, that guy. he was looking. <laughs> do we have to do the same wander out? Well, give it a go. Aha, looks it. <laughs> Bye, Pidgeys. Always liked a Pidgey. I like a Pidgey. Oh, if it isn't TBG. <laughs> TBG. Energy head over to. Uh oh. Yeah. It's that annoying noise. <laughs> it's that Pokemon that you can't actually catch in this area, <laughs> but randomly there's one here. Oh, the music. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have <laughs> expected one here either because it's full of yeah. it's full of caterpies and ratatas. Pidgeys and ratatas. It was in there, yeah. red and blue. But they they've changed certain bits. Oh, okay. Practice and catch. Yeah. There's one Pokemon in that area that you couldn't catch there in red and blue. There's at least one in Viridian Forest you couldn't get there in red and blue. Yeah, it's quite good. Press <laughs> the A button to ready the Pokemon. By waving your Joy-Con, just <laughs> don't actually throw it like anything. Yes, you've okay. definitely got the strap, you know, attached, haven't you? Definitely. Yeah. We haven't got that in the other room. That was an Is that a necessary thing? <laughs> no, not really. Not when you're. I've not... never understood that because I'm not no. five years old. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We'll go into the proper catching again later. Yeah, I was going to say, I presume that's <laughs> always successful, that one. I, I would hope so, yeah. Yeah, otherwise it's a very short game. Yeah. I haven't seen it be anything other than successful. Give Pikachu a name. Does he need a name? <laughs> I don't nickname him. Really. Oh, of course he doesn't live in there, does he? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that was weird. Yeah. They've changed a bit of it. Oh, does this mean he's going to pick like a Charizard or something? <laughs> well, not Charizard. No, not exactly. Start with a Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> I win! I do like the, aim, the age old. Um... <laughs> I wonder which one's yours. <laughs> hmm. I do like the age old. Hey, here's a ten year old. Let's give him something that breathes fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's safe. Take that one. What, the jumping one? I would assume so. I might start a new run through on this soon. What, on the Pikachu or on. Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe the Pikachu. What? <laughs> it's weird. It's a hell of a lot more involving, isn't it? Look, yeah. an expression. Mind you, like, yeah. They, an expression on a character. They actually have some graphics in yeah. this one, rather than lots of blocks. There you go. He didn't become... He already was, I caught him. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I like staying in one place. So it looks like he's just going to randomly follow you. <laughs> No. So add it to your party. With all of the others you have. <laughs> With all of the none of them. <laughs> oh, I see. He gets an Eevee because I got a Pikachu, so yeah. presumably in the other one he gets a Pikachu because I get an Eevee. Yeah. But what's in the third ball? Exactly, what is in the third ball? Exactly. It contains a Pokemon. No one knows what it is. The Is that it then? Do we have a fight now? Do you want a fight? <laughs> just one more thing. We just spoke to you. <laughs> yeah. Take this with you on your journeys. Oh, the the thing. <laughs> Pogan. The hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. Yes. Yeah, you need that on the guide. Mhm. Mhm. I like that his, boot, his um, uh, boots, shoes, whatever you call them, are in the style of an Ultra Ball, your main character. 
the... Are they? Yeah, black with the two yellow stripes. Oh, that's quite cool. I love all those little details. And then you've sort of got a great ball on your bag, but it's yeah. not, if that makes sense. The middle bit's too big, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas his other one looks like a pair of y fronts. <laughs> yes, it does, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want you two young people to fulfil my dream for me because I'm too old to do it. <laughs> Even if you don't want to do that, I'm sending you out into the world to fulfil my <laughs> dream because I'm selfish. I've been studying Pokemon all my life, but can you two go out? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> can I, can't, I can't be bothered because I've got old man legs. I've been doing it all my life and I must have studied everything, but can you two ten-year-olds go and do something? Well, that's the thing. If he's been <laughs> studying them, ha why hasn't he got the data on the Pokedex already? Why Don't is know. it blank? Yeah. Maybe it's only just been invented. Well, well it, Pikachu's following you. It might have been, but just update it with all the information he's already got. Yeah. So there's no fight. There's always a fight there. Not yet. That comes later. Oh. I don't know if we'll have time to get to it. And also, I don't want to show you too much. What did you call it? Pikachu? Wow, lovely. <laughs> Pikachu. Yes, yeah. how did you not already know that? <laughs> Tell that from Mom. Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'll put it in my bag, Mom. Hey, Mom. You'll mom. know exactly where you are. You'll know just how lost you are. Surely his phone's got GPS on it, wasn't it? Yeah, even I would hope for? so. This is a modern world. <laughs> it's a song by the jam, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Now you can go out and try and catch a Pokemon, maybe. Have I got any Pokeballs, though? You, for some reason, you automatically have 50. What? Yeah, I don't know why. There's an Oddish over there. Ooh! What's that? Oh, an annoying rat a ta 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 They are annoying. They are very annoying. <laughs> can I just kill it? Would yes. you always have to...? Um, no, you, you don't have wild battles anymore. What? It's just this. I'm confused. Yeah, this is what you do now. I'm confused, so I can't send Pikachu out and electrocute the hell out of him? No, but this will give you experience points. What, throwing a ball at him? Yeah, you'll see in a moment. You got 20 experience points from that, so Pikachu will get 20. Okay. It's, so, yeah, it's, it's, so you only fight trainers? Yeah, it's made it a lot more immersive to actually catch Pokemon by the fact that you're physically throwing them. and uh, okay. Apart from the legendary birds. You battle those, you have to faint them, and then you go into well, this Well, that's process. kind of what I was expecting here. Yeah. Just for this game, you do this. That's weird. Polish. So, if they're too strong, presumably, this won't work. Yeah, sometimes, yeah that's what I mean. You have to gauge it. You can get great balls and ultra balls and all sorts. Yeah. As well. They get a lot more difficult oh, to catch as yes, they go on. I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm assuming they make it quite easy to catch the um, <laughs> the initial first ones just outside your hometown. For, you know. Well, yeah. Twelve otherwise, minutes into a game. Why would you play it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel free to carry on through to the next town if you'd like. Yeah, well, the catching thing was a hit and miss with a lot of people. I was in two minds. I was very skeptical. I've played it though. And since then, it's it's grown on me. It's all right. I'd rather they don't do it for the game in November. I'm, I'm saying November because, of course, it's going to be November. But for this year, you would think so. Yeah, yeah, go back to the battles. But that, for me, by no means mean by no means says that this is a bad feature. No, I was just kind of expecting that you'd need to weaken them a bit first. Yeah. Rather than just always throw yeah. a ball at them. After a while, they do tend to. Uh, I do tend to jump to the sides. As oh, well as so you up. literally are having to yeah. throw this ball all over the place yeah. rather than just in a straight line. And the darker, it goes from green to red, like green, yellow, orange, red. The darker it is, the more difficult it is to catch. And oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's it, it's different. Yes. Obviously, I'm not saying I want it in every game, but I don't mind it in this, if that makes sense. Isn't that because this mechanic came from... Excuse me. That's alright. Oh, it's Pikachu friend. How are you doing? What did you find? What's that? You get <coughs> these berries you can get when to use whilst you're catching. 
Oh, yeah, Mraz okay. will make it easier to catch. Pineapp will um, increase your chances of finding an item while catching, because you can find them while catching. Oh, okay. And the other one that I forgot does the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Nano Berry makes it easier. Uh, makes it move around less. Oh, it kind of yeah. calms it down. But I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll say now the catching is the only real main change from the red blue get. Well, you know, massive notable difference. Everything else, 95% of this game is exactly what you'd expect from a Pokemon game, just with these graphics, if that makes sense. Right. Okay. The catching is the only real point that's different. That's massive. Everything different. else you'll be familiar with from red and blue. Ah, got an item already. Yeah, can't see Literally it, everything else you'll be familiar with. Ah, okay. There's some new moves in there that you've probably never heard of. But that's only really to fill in the gaps, because obviously in Red and Blue there were no real Dragon-type moves, except Dragon Rage. Yeah. But Dragon Rage only ever did 40 damage. Exactly 40. Oh, and they've had to, yeah, yeah. adjust it. I'm presuming I'm going to get blocked in a minute. <laughs> that yeah. goes to the Elite Four down there. It does. Yeah, and um, things like um, oh, the Bug-type didn't really have any moves in Generation 1. Yeah. So they've got stuff in there like X-Scissor. Which is a bug oh, move. So okay. they're that in they didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. They've kept the types as well. Dark, Steel, and Fairy are in this, but oh, there's well, let me in, mate. but there's no Dark types apart from Alola forms, so you oh, can't okay. actually catch any. Um, the only Steel types are Magnemite and Magneton. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So that's barely noticeable. Hang on, what about Electron and uh, Electro? And... Yeah, they've not been Steel types. They're just pure Electric Steel. Are they? Fairy type is probably the biggest change because you've got the Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff. Mr. Mime is also part Fairy as well now. Oh, okay. It's so, a Spearow. That is a Spearow. You have to go up and back down again. I was going to say, is it going <laughs> to stay there or will it disappear? By the I don't time know. Of... Oh, I didn't want to. <laughs> go away. Can I run away? You can, yeah. But I've already... Run away down the bottom. I've already caught one. I don't want another one. Yeah. You can chain catch uh, Pokemon. Which may, sometimes makes rarer ones appear. How does? Oh, there's a spear. How does that work then? <laughs> like if you were to catch ten spearos in a row, it'd make it more likely oh, for a rarer I see. thing to appear. Somewhere. Oh, I thought you meant catch two in one encounter oh, or no. something. So, yeah. But it's uh, this is essentially the beginning of the game. Let's go back to Meridian City, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, can do. Don't want to get you too far in and give you too many spoils. <laughs> <laughs> Make me actually buy the thing. Anyone yeah. would think you work for Nintendo. <laughs> oh, it's just a really good game. I haven't played it for a while myself, though, so saying that, so that's a bit strange. So you've already caught... Have you caught a Pidgey as well? You have, haven't you, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. How do I look? Uh, menu and then see what's in your party, I suppose. Damn you! <laughs> but you can go back to Viridian City for now anyway if you want. Yeah, I'll go back there and check what I've got. Yeah, because the way you train of course is just to catch more Pokemon. Oh, okay. Uh, what? You haven't got this one. <laughs> ah, Nidoran. Yeah. Yeah, the more you catch in a combo, the more experience points you'll get, the more likely it is for a shiny to appear, for a rarer Pokemon to appear. Oh, okay, so ignoring yeah. them isn't a good idea. Like, there's some areas where it's extremely unlikely to see a Bulbasaur, Squirtle or Charmander, but say you've caught ten of something in a row. Then they might appear. They are very likely to appear. So, presumably, that's why it starts you off with so many Pokeballs. Yeah. Because that's basically all you, How you have. Yeah. yeah. So, you can see it sort of does work. But like I say, this is pretty much the only main change oh, yeah, do they've that, done. Did you? Yeah, there you go, Gust. Yeah, this is pretty much the only main change they've made. Everything else is familiar, just updated, as you can tell. Mm. Very yeah. much so. We're and going. for the first time ever on the TV. Yeah, for literally the first time ever. Oh, yeah. Until later this year. Oh, I recognise those people. Yeah. Hey. Really? The only annoying thing about this though is that Meowth doesn't talk, it just says Meowth or... Oh, is it? Or... I can't... Yeah. Meow. Which is a bit annoying, because oh, obviously it talks. It talks, yeah. But, oh well. Because it's clever. <laughs> Get schooled in school. <laughs> Learn how to school. I don't think there is anything here, is there really? 
No, just what you would have done in red and blue, get Oak's parcel. Yeah, and take it back to him. Yeah, but then that'll open up a whole different bit there, so I reckon... Mm. Ah! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to give you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting him to jump out at me like that, though. <laughs> Yeah. I was expecting him to at least wait for me to <laughs> talk to him first. Yeah. There you go. I reckon we'll call that a day there, though. I, I don't want to give you too many spoilers. Very good call. You can head straight back to the lab, but, um, yeah. There you go. We'll stop nice. there, because otherwise you'll spoil everything and you end up playing the whole game. <laughs> Catch Oak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to press that to pause it, but it didn't. Work. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think just X is the menu. Yeah. There we that's go. pretty much it. Cool. But yeah, so that's your first 15, 20 minutes out of the game. First experience. Yeah. Oddish of the game. Oddish of the game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... No, it's definitely something I, I need to get a hold of yeah, at definitely. some point. And for the first time ever this week, I actually saw a copy of it. Oh, yeah. Second-hand copy yeah. for £40, so... It's quite it's... elusive. It's, yes. <laughs> but I think that's just a testament to its popularity, I think, which is... Mm. It's worth it. Yeah, 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 it's definitely something that I will be... Acquiring at some point yeah. when I have some funds. Yes, funds. It <laughs> funds. Oh God, <laughs> money. Yes, money. But yeah. All right. Well, for now, it's been a joy to be in the same room for a change. <laughs> it's been yeah, nice change of pace. Yeah. Got a lot done today, which is always good. Yeah. Hopefully, you would have seen or will see that very soon. I yeah. Would, I would expect so. Hopefully, something has gone up already. If yeah. not, it will be going up very very soon on both channels. Yeah, if, you, if you're fine with that. I have no way of uploading it at the moment. No issue with that at all. <laughs> Except sending the file over and me doing it at work. But uh, <laughs> Maybe not. Don't think I can get away with that one. No, <laughs> indeed. So, but yeah. I suppose we better call it a day for now. Can do, yeah. Thank you all for watching, as well as listening, for a change. We'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>